other day, an adopter named Chauncey fell head over heels for one of our pit bull mixes named Messiah. Hi, hi. But Chauncey's family has chickens. So before we can go any further with this adoption, we need to see how Messiah will do with her potential new feathered brothers and sisters. I asked a local farmer if we could bring Messiah out to his place to see how Messiah would do with his chickens. And he actually offered to make it convenient for us and come here. But it wasn't the birds that had everybody's attention. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a family affair. Is this all I have to do to have a family gathering is get baby goats? He apparently had a couple of other friends that travel with him. You like butt scratches like dogs do? Let's try. <laughs> you know, we're all so busy with running the rescue. We have so many different locations. It's hard to get all of my kids to come together at one time. What are you doing? <laughs> and who would have thought that all I needed was to bring a couple of baby goats into the picture, and I had an instant family reunion. But as fun as this was, and as adorable as they were, you know, this was not a time for a petting zoo. Messiah! Mariah? Are you just gonna hang with the goats? Yep, I'll be here while you're there. Just like last year, somehow I got suckered into doing chicken testing. Chickens are one of my <laughs> biggest fears. This is what I wanted to see. Mom, don't you, mom! Don't chase them over here, please. A 100 pound pit bull, fine. No big deal. Tigers, I was around those. Elephants, fine. Chickens, no. Not happening. <laughs> She's definitely interested. Wait, so they have chicken, like, their chickens are in an enclosure. Yeah, but still, you don't want her But I don't after. want her running up to the fence and scaring them. Mm -hmm. Messiah and the chickens are going to have to coexist in the same yard. And despite there being a dividing fence and like a chicken coop, you know, I didn't want Messiah to be charging the fence and terrorizing the birds. Hey, sit. Good sit. She was definitely curious, as to be expected. But the good thing about it is that she wasn't extremely focused on them, and I was very easily able to, you know, redirect her by calling her and using treats and making it a positive experience. Oh, good job. The fact that she's like, rather would turn her back on them yeah. is great. You're doing better than I am with the chickens. She wasn't chasing them or doing anything like that, but the chickens were being really, really calm. So we wanted to try and make them like, move around to see if she would react to it. Since you're not gonna be the one that will go in there. Nope. I'll give you some treats. Dog oh, me. Thank you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with them and just kind of have them move just a little bit. Okay. And see how she reacts. Come here, chickens. And let her see them for a second. Come here. Can I direct you? Oh, that's good. Good. She's that's paying more attention to me. Even though she would look at him, her focus went right back to me. And that's exactly what we want from a dog. Good girl. The fact that Messiah doesn't even know me well and she was very focused on me and the treats that I had and just a human in general gives me all the confidence in the world that she'll be totally fine in this new home. She seemed pretty comfortable around them, which is more than I can say for my youngest. Oh, you, is that you, good? You don't want me to try and nope, help you with your nope. ther chicken therapy? The fact that I am this close to chickens and not panicking is really good. But if you touch these two big ones, nope. you need to face your fears. I am. I'm right here. I'm fa literally facing my fears. <laughs> Messiah had a lot thrown at her, and she never lost her cool.